Hello and welcome back to our beginner guitar lesson course here at worshiptutorials.com. Today we're going to talk about a few more strumming patterns in our rhythm and strumming section. We're going to focus on 4-4 time and I'm really going to talk about two concepts. One is just another strumming pattern and another thing is going to be down strums and how we can use down strums to sort of build music and create emotion, which is really what we're going for with music. Hey, if you're just joining us here on YouTube and you'd like to learn how to play guitar from never having played guitar, picked it up before, to full songs, click the link below or right up here. It will take you to the course page. You can sign up completely free through the site. It'll help you track your progress. If you wanna just stay on YouTube, please subscribe. We're uploading new content all the time to help equip and resource you as worship leaders, worship musicians. If you're not involved in church or worship music or any or you don't want to be or anything like that this course is still for you it's just a basic uh, guitar course okay so our first pattern uh, or our next pattern I should say goes like this down up down up down up down up down down up one two three four one two three And that is a basic pattern that you can use really in a lot of songs in 4-4 time. Um, if, if you're really struggling to find a strumming pattern, you can kind of go to that one and it's going to fit a lot of songs. It might not be exactly what you hear uh, on an album or a recording, but it should work a lot of the time. So that would be a whole measure strumming pattern. And uh, one thing that you might run into a lot is a change, a chord change that happens on, in between a measure, so a half note change. So it would be like this, one, two, three, four. And what I do in those situations is a little bit different, and I go like this. One, two, three, four, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that will help you navigate uh, a half note changes. Um, the original strumming pattern that I just showed you, uh, is, it's not very clean if you try and switch in between a measure. You can do it, but it doesn't really flow as well as if you do that. Okay, so the next thing is down strums. Now, down strums are something I use a lot, and I think they work really well to sort of build tension or to build into a section of a song. Uh, you might hear a lot of times a drummer can do this kind of thing like on a tom snare build. Uh, and that, this is the kind of the same thing on a guitar. So you can approach this a couple ways and they are just what they sound like down, down strums. So this would be like eighth note down strums. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. You want to emphasize certain beats though. And they can be different beats depending on the song, depending on the groove that you're trying to create. But if you just play them straight, they're a little boring. So you want to emphasize something. So here's an example. One and two and three and four and 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 Okay, so you can see two different uh, examples of where I emphasize different beats that gave the song a little bit more musical feel. Another thing you might notice is that I don't strum all the strings typically when I do down strum. That would be all the strings. I like to strum just maybe the E, A, D string and maybe the G, but it gives it more of a kind of a rhythmic feel. Okay. Another thing you can do with, with down strums is 16th notes. So depending on the tempo, you have to strum really fast. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. It might be a lot easier and what I do often is just down up, down up, down up, down up. Okay, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. And again, you're going to want to emphasize certain beats. So uh, in the downstream example, the first thing I did was emphasize the one, the and of the two, and the four. And it sounded like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. 
You can do the same thing with the down up down up 16th notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. Okay, so those emphasizing notes are what makes the song feel like actual music rather than just pretty boring. Okay? Uh, a couple things I like to do when I'm trying to find out what I want to emphasize is listen to the drummer. If you're in a band situation, what is your drummer emphasizing? Or if you're listening to a recorded piece of music. Uh, and it's easiest to, for me to tell by when the drummer hits the snare. So the kick drum is sort of the low thump and the snare is the higher pitch crack. And the kick and the snare are what give you your basic beat. Uh, so you can listen to kick, snare, kick, snare. So one, two, three, four. That snare's on the two and the four. You need to emphasize the two and the four. As an acoustic guitar player or a rhythm electric player, you are a rhythm instrument. So it's really important for you to lock in to the other rhythm instruments in your band, which would be your bass player and your drummer. A lot of people don't think of bass as a rhythm instrument, but the bass and the drums are supposed to be tight and locked together. So bass is a rhythm instrument. And uh, if you do that, your band is just going to sound a lot tighter. Or if you're playing along to a piece of music, it's just going to fit in a lot better. So listen to where those emphasis uh, notes are and then emphasize those strums and those beats when you're playing on guitar. Okay, so here's an exercise for you uh, on this lesson. Take the three actually four different things that we learned in this lesson. So the first pattern, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Take your half note pattern and your eighth note down strum and your 16th note down up strums and put them all together uh, and play, play just a little piece. And you can make up the changes. Uh, I'm just gonna use the key of G and I'm just gonna randomly switch between chords and I'm gonna show you how it can all fit together. So starting with the main whole note pattern. Again. And here's a half note. Now how about some down strums? Bigger down up strums. And then the whole note pattern again. So that felt like an actual piece of music where uh, the rhythm sort of went somewhere, the changes went somewhere, we started building and building and building and building some more, and then it opened up into a bigger uh, strum, open strumming pattern. And that's what music is all about. If you think about music as a series of movements, you're building tension, you're building, uh, you're building, 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 and then there's a big sort of a release where you, you hit a big note, and if you're with a band, you know your drummer's going to be on the cymbals and everything like that. That. But um, music should feel like it's alive, like it's going somewhere. It should move people emotionally. And the way that we uh, approach rhythm and strumming is going to make a big impact on how that actually happens inside of a piece of music. So try that this week as you're learning. You uh, at, at this point, you should have been learning all the chords. We've learned a little bit about rhythm and strumming, and hopefully we've been practicing enough that you can sort of change chords. Uh, so this is a good exercise. If you're not used to changing chords, um, start working on that because you're going to need it when we get into learning songs, which is coming really, really quick. Again, if, if you uh, want to follow along with this lesson, sign up at the, uh, the page at Worship Tutorials or hit the subscribe button below, and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.